Hey everyone, it's Kirigami Nami here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Raycast Shader. Raycast Shader is basically a really beautiful shader that makes your model look like really cool, and it makes your model basically look really light, and um, it's just a very pretty shader, so I'm going to be showing you how to use it. So first you're going to download uh, Raycast Shader version 1.0.8, and the link will be in the description to download it. So, uh, yeah, so you're going to download that, and you're going to also get a model. So I'm just going to go, I saw a model on the internet. Uh, I'm just going to go, and I'm going to find that. So, uh, let's see. So you're just going to get your model. Uh, the link to her will be in the description. She's probably not that hard to get to, but yeah. All right. So, I'm going to load my model, and here's my model. She's really cute. I really like this model. She's super adorable. All right, so I'm just going to edit her a little bit. I'm just going to change her edge line thickness and her gravity settings to zero, so it will make everything kind of, like, float and be kind of, like, poofy. And I'm also going to get rid of the uh, ground shadow, because sometimes that doesn't really look that great. So your model, you're going to go to your model again, you're going to model modification, you're going to load, and you're going to go, and you're going to find your effect, and you're going to open your Raycast shader folder, and go to Skybox folder, and, um, you can pick any of these. I prefer a helipad, golden hour. It looks really nice. Um, last time I used it, I used Grand Canyon. It really doesn't matter because you can put in a stage if you don't really want to have the skybox. So yeah, all right. So now that we have this loaded, uh, you're going to go to MME Effect, and you're going to go to your skybox, and you're going to click Set Effect, and you're going to load... You're going to go uh, over to your the folder of your Skybox, and you're going to load uh, Skydome HDR. Basically, this just brings your model down to the bottom of the Skybox. So now you're going to go to your camera, and you're going to go to Accessory Manipulation, Manipulation, and you're going to load... Uh, you're going to load ray.x and it might take a little bit because it's a large file it's basically the whole effect so just wait for that to load uh yeah so basically kind of makes everything look softer but this doesn't really look like raycast shader it doesn't actually like look like the effect so what you're going to do is you're going to go to MME Effect, you're going to Effect Mapping, and you're going to click your model, and you're going to set an effect, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to the main folder, and you're going to load main.fx. And so now, in all the videos you watched, they're probably like, and then you're done. Well, you're not, because the model's black, and it's dark, and it doesn't look good. So, basically, you need to go to MME Effect, and you're going to go to ENV light map, and you're going to select your skybox, and you're going to go to the folder of your skybox, and you're going to click uh, Skylighting HDR. And now, your model is light, and it has Raycast shader, and it looks really great. But you might want to control it a little bit, maybe it's not at the right setting. So you can go to model, and you can load... Um, raycontroller.pmx and this basically lets you control everything like the direct light and the just like the shininess of everything and it's just really really helpful effect so yeah i hope this guy's help Ugh. i hope this video helped everyone out uh, i know this has been like a big problem with raycast shader and yeah so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye